<laughs> hey, what's going on, crypto people? Hey, listen, I wanted to shoot a quick video here because, I, listen, this dude, Jungle Inc., is on one right now. Jungle Inc. is on one. <laughs> is on one right now. Did you guys catch this latest video? It says Ripple XRP. Most people missed what Arthur Brito just did. Hashtag bullish. Listen, this dude <laughs> is killing the game right now. I've been watching him. Uh, this I don't want to say like this last 90 days. This dude has been just putting out content after content after content, relevant, important content, um, engaging, thought-provoking <laughs> content. I mean, next level, whether it's three minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, these recorded videos, he has been killing the game. He is on a, what do they call that? He is, he's on a, uh, on a heater. Is it a heater? I don't know what you call it, but the dude is killing the game right now. Make sure you turn in, make sure you turn in, you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. This dude is killing the game. He's talking about Arthur Brito. I'm like, what the world? How do you know what's going on, Arthur Brito, bro? He's he's saying Arthur Brito. He's, Arthur Brito is the one. Did you know? Is there, I guess there's a reason why, um, like we know the name. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. You know, like one and a half people know the face. Like what? Who is this Arthur Brito dude? It's cray cray in the street, lending out Bitcoin, lending out his expert. What, when, and how come? This is this is this is uh boss moves <laughs> from Arthur Brito. <laughs> oh, it's just some boss moves. Make up, make sure you guys check out this video here from Jungle. He is on a heater, as we like to say, or we like to say, he is on one right now. Tune in. Go to his channel, subscribe, and watch. I'm telling you, watch every single thing the dude has put up, especially in the last 90 days. I was um, doing my usual thing today and, you know, popping my head outside of the XRPL bubble and taking a look around. And I had I came across this uh, post um, from uh, Rajat Sani, uh, Bitcoiner, and... Um, I've been watching some videos. You know how we do. We do our due diligence. We do our homework, just like we did with Kruger, just like we did with Cardone, just like we did with Simon Dixon. And this guy, Rajat, has some very, very interesting things to say. And I think it's really apropos, um, the timing to cover this guy, because, you know, uh, the state of Pennsylvania just um, was submitted some paperwork, right, that they're wanting to um, set up a, a strategic Bitcoin reserve for the state of Pennsylvania. Wisconsin's got something. I don't know what it is. We know that Lummis and some others or, and or one or two others, you know, looking to get that uh, bill put into place as well, but a strategic reserve is happening at the state levels as well. You know, I did a live stream earlier today about a, a $1 million Bitcoin. And I just think I just hope people understand what's what's really going on here so that we don't so that people don't miss what's really going on here. Because people think it's just, oh, it's just silly little old Argentina. Oh, it's just even smaller, 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 sillier um, El Salvador. You know, they don't you know, it's just little old Bataan. They're, they're doing stuff at the state level, the United State level. Are you paying attention? I hope that you are. I hope that you have the courage to pop your head up outside of the XRPL bubble and take a look around at what's going on. Hope you really do. This is an interesting thing here, interesting post. He has... A couple of interesting ones. I'm just going to cover uh, one or two of these. In 10 years, says Rajat, anyone with no Bitcoin will claim Bitcoiners got lucky. 
but they didn't. Anyone that owns Bitcoin did something others weren't willing to do. They put in the time and effort to study something that the majority of people see as a Ponzi scheme. They bought as much as they could, then they held on for more than a decade. That's not luck. That's conviction. We say in the channel all the time. It's going to take you about five years to figure out what it is that you're doing here. And then it's another five years proving or figuring out or proving out that you know that you know. That's 10 years. He talks about studying. What's the latest books you've read on Bitcoin? Did you read The Price of Tomorrow? Did you read The Bitcoin Standard? Are you expanding your knowledge base of the asset class and the asset? Are you leveling, leveling up or are you listening to XRP entertaining content creators to get your knowledge and your foundation for Bitcoin? I talked about uh, a video from my guy, Dennis, from the Virtual Bacon YouTube channel about the, 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 the ease in which Bitcoin, the simplicity in which Bitcoin and how Bitcoin gets to a million dollars per Bitcoin in the next 10 years. And here we are way ahead of the game than most people. Way ahead of the game than most people. My question is, are you taking a look around? You know, just because Bitcoiners say that the only asset you need to hold doesn't mean that's the only asset you need to hold. But do you hold some? He says, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying this to prepare you. If you're in your 20s and 30s, and you're only relying on the S&P 500 to save for retirement, I think you're heading for a trap. He says, let me explain. Most people think the S&P 500 is all they need to retire. I think this is an assumption that will not play out. Inflation is going to accelerate in the coming years because the Fed is starting to lower interest rates to incentivize spending. The United States government is about to start spending a lot more. Right now, the S&P 500 is performing well, giving investors around 10 to 12% in nominal terms, not inflation adjusted. 10 to 12% a year? A whole year for 10 to 12%? In nominal terms, this will probably go up, right? Because money printing will accelerate because the United States government will need to spend more to achieve the same goals. In real terms, inflation adjusted, the S&P 500's returns will drop. The S&P 500 has been an excellent way to escape inflation. It's also liquid relative to other assets. Real estate is not liquid, but the S&P 500 now has a serious competitor. Instead of passively investing in stocks, investors can also passively buy Bitcoin. Studying, purchasing, and storing Bitcoin properly could require hundreds of hours of research before January of 2024 when Bitcoin ETFs were launched. But now it's just as easy as buying stocks. And that's the purchasing part of Bitcoin. You could have been studying and storing before the Bitcoin ETFs. But it's the purchasing of Bitcoin by way of these ETFs that has become just as easy as buying stocks. The nominal return on S&P 500 will always be great because it's directly influenced by the amount of money being printed. The amount of money being printed will increase forever as the dollar loses its purchasing power and purchasers and purchases fewer goods and services. Most people who want to adopt the S&P 500 have a savings vehicle as a savings vehicle have probably, probably already done so. This means in the coming years, the flow of passively invested real estate or real dollars passively invested real dollars going into the S&P 500 will decrease as savers favor Bitcoin because of the lower risk profiles. Listen to Gary Cardone today. He's trying to explain to people how people, you know, the deck of millionaires and the nine figure people think. And he mentioned again 
about Bitcoin at the $67,000 price being the best risk-adjusted reward asset. Risk-adjusted reward asset at 6664K. Very few understand. Very, very few understand. So this, okay, so all right, this is going to take time. It won't happen overnight. Most people don't, don't even understand 1% of what there is to know about Bitcoin. It takes a very long time to understand why Bitcoin is less risky than the S&P 500. And this is the big, the biggest barrier for most savers. They understand the old system and they know that more US dollars will be printed forever. So the S&P 500 will continue rising forever. But they haven't considered that the form of money the world accepts for goods and services could change. Again, Pennsylvania just submitted some, some, some stuff, some bills, some whatever for strategic reserve uh, for the state of Pennsylvania. It's going to begin to happen state after state after state. I would not be surprised to find out Texas is about to do a very, very similar thing. They're already doing on the Bitcoin, the uh, silver and gold um, as a currency. They already got the mining and stuff going on in the great state of Texas. just a matter of time. How challenging would it be to have known that you were here early and you didn't take the time to pop your head outside of the XRPL bubble and take a look around? Even if after you do all that looking around, you're like, yeah, not for me. At least you could say that you did it. All right, fam, look, I'm going to hop off here. This has been your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope that it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you happen to be in the 45 to 50% or so of people that are hanging out, listening to and watching the Crypto Seas, and that you have not subscribed to the channel yet, we're trying to get that number from 55% down to about 25% or so. And you can do your part right now by just hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the notification bell, baby, so that you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, we're already winning. And I would ask you to consider this or perhaps ponder the idea or notion of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Bye.